I have absolutely no clue how the save system in this works. Looks like Marjorie Terrell's fashion sense, too. Good for her. That's somebody to take after for uh, your clothing choices. They're, they're keeping it neat. Aren't you a tragedy? This is how I get stabbed to death. I don't know what you're doing. I avoided his question. Switching out my coals? I don't know what you're doing. You work for Lady Marjorie? We're friends. I'm Lady Marjorie. But it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like a good friend. I hope so. Oh. Please continue. Hey, I nailed it. Cool. Apparently, I should have told him I was worried. Hello. Oh, we have a very... Oh. I was worried our colors were the same. Glad we don't match too much. I'd be embarrassed. I'd have to change.
you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagination. And you're still family as well. My family wrote me a letter. I don't doubt you must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in the King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North, whose family fought with Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the White Gate. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you as a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for this now. I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know that. Hmm. Your mother. Tell her what she wants to do. I misread that. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive her. Oh, I am nervous going in front of Cersei. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay. Good luck. Okay, I got my arrow keys and the Q and E locked down here. I will nail this quick time conversation. She's gonna throw glasses at me, it's gonna be nuts. Ah, oh, Tyrion's there. Why are you outpacing me so much? Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely? Lord Tyrion, Your Grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is her family loyal to the king? Probably. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Uh. The one who killed him. Uh. Your liege lord, yet you may be traitors so easily. Is it any wonder that you are so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty, if you have any? Wow, this is awesome. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Bruce Bolton? Bruce Bolton owes those serfs a debt, they call it, and proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Well, I'm dead. Okay.
Yes. What would you have the girl do to not as if she fought beside the staff, but wielding a battle axe as a northern army? Once. It was just the once. Yes, deflect, deflect. Serve the king. I'm sure she the girl ask the question. I would be true to the king. I said, I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaid in all of the <laughs> How's it going? I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the Tawny Famine Ball. Even then, he didn't trust the reports. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. He had my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Terry. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all the years before Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite relieved. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides in this matter. The crown needs both. Both need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. We need those sweet, sweet trees, man.
Oh, I blew that. Oh. At least we get a go. <laughs> Give me a weird viper vent. Hey, if I can play that card. <laughs> to get shot in the gut. No, no, no. He she's Jamie's. What are you doing? Well, what are you <laughs> the queen was pleased by your display in the world. Really? I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse than I am seeing. Once I know the true heart, I will be able to have no choice. It's a tough place. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. Your words to Cersei were brave. I know you must fear what the Bolton might do. People complained about the fallout conversation. I see none of this stuff coming. Yes, ask for help. I I did have a favor to ask of you in the hotel. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Cyril. There are no secrets between us. Sure, whatever. About my family. I trust her. The king's protection. If a raven could be sent to the Bolton to let them know how the forest has I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Say insisted. Say insisted one more time. Now you would have me ask you to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Think how it turns on me. 
Feel my corruption. That's a little presumptuous. Let the official channels handle this. Alright, this just keeps steaming through. Dang it, I just got that horse. Oh shoot. I don't want to peek. Get that out of here. And that's the story of how I didn't get flayed. Wonderful tale that I will tell at the wall every month. Be dead, be dead, be dead. Okay. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Yeah.
And what did the White Hills call him? Every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. shields and three spears. You stole them. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord, I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. I've got family to feed, and not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> These words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Where's the quit hitting him option? Light punishment. Yeah. Minor punishment. To the wall. Please, my lord. My family. Without me, they'll die. The whole house will remember this judgment. Sentinel, it would be wise to bestow this brace upon your chosen sentinel. 
shows that you are decisive and in control of the sound stream. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene a small council. Yeah, that's the uncle, right? He's the, uh... Yeah, he's got pig rancher blood in him. That's good. That's good stuff. Let's go talk to our sister. Hold up. Your uncle will remember this. It's always the time to negotiate. Oh, no, that's true. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I've been wanting to talk to you. I just couldn't figure out how to unlock it. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. Me too. Since her family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. To keep her from getting killed. Really? All right, Duncan it is. Because they kind of set her up as like my equal on that mural, so that's why I figure, uh, yeah. Imagine my lot. 
With all due respect to Sir Royland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service. Provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the counter, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Then it's the people are going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll, leaving our own stores for the houses we're left. We couldn't withstand the siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if we like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, I found that nearly all our pigs had died. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. As a household, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. People who starve to death will not remember this. How about the guy who's good at maggots? What does he say? That sounds like a ton. Yeah. Let's see what Ryan says. Talking about them. Enemy. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say cruel is bad. Bad men kill father and body. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. Alright, you can have a sword. And we'll put you against the Tullys or whatever. Uh, who are you? There's a lot of hair you got going on there. It's kind of like colored. You are a spy for House Lannister. I knew it. Yeah, that's a point, Duncan. Whatever. We're so happy as our um, family will collapse and we'll be flayed by the Boltons.
they sit? I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royal, this house is in the cheap oak. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on the it's two bracers, we can split it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. No. Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. Royland will remember that. a plan to deal with it. The Boltons need our people to harvest the iron. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. But it would be suicide. You gamble the lives of everyone within these walls. Yeah, I think we'd be pretty humped there. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small town. I will hear from my Sentinel. of our soldiers are not. We need to take economy property, diplomacy, and be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie to ally her. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my chair? The wisdom of the citizen. We can give the Boltons iron in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose at one great battle. Ethan has made his opinion. Okay, so. Yeah, um, I think this is the only way we don't get murdered. I mean, yeah. I wonder if, uh, if I hadn't mentioned about the North Grove to the Maester, if he would, uh, be a little more conservative. I can't see that. I'm blind. I'm like 12. More than I remember. I know. That's what I said. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. We'll stand beside you for your sentinel to go. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, 
I value you greatly. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can with Miss Landon. There are others who can help. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. What's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. No. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher said it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. He's a beast. Yeah, uh, I want him to come back, but man, we're going to have to keep a rain on this guy. Sounds like a nut job. Yeah, you can. Know that you never stand alone. You are a 